Forget it. I'll go myself. No, no. All right. All right. All right. I'll send a couple of men. But this works both ways, all right? You want our help, you have got to assist us. What do you want? Cooperation, Frisco. With both the WSB and the Air Force. No more running out there on your own in the dark. You've got to let us know everything. Fine. Just make sure my wife's protected. I'll call my Texas office now. We're in this together, agreed? Agreed. In your wildest dreams, Ross. Well, I don't want you to worry about anything. I've sent some people to keep an eye on things. You really think Felicia's in danger? Well, can't hurt to be cautious. Oh, um, I I'll be right there. Uh, I think they're here. Good. How's she doing? Oh, she's not happy. She'd never admit that. Listen, I, I really can't talk. She's just right here. Be careful. And you, too. When are you coming down here? Soon. That's a promise. All right. Good night. You look lucky I was down at Kelly's. What's up? I need a favor from you. This wouldn't have anything to do with Spoon Island, would it? You must be a psychic. Here's the deal. I think I'm gonna like it here. I don't think. I know. Excuse me. When did you start catering to swinging singles? They seem like pretty nice guys. Yeah, the next thing you know, they're going to want to know where the disco is. Say, uh, sweet thing. Is there any dancing around here? I rest my case. Uh, Felicia, why don't you show our new guests around? Must I? Mm. Well, why don't we go see the stables? I assume you ride, but I guess that's a loaded question. Ain't a horse or a woman I can't handle. Really? Well, we have a couple of ponies out in the stable. How long will you be staying? Uh, we're not sure. Maybe forever. You bet I'm telling you what to do, Ross. I don't want those agents letting Felicia out of their sight. I know. I'll keep my end of the bargain. As soon as I know something, you'll be the first one I call. Right. I trust my desk suits your requirements. It's fine. Here. What's this? I had the artists here at the station make a copy of the man in Spoon Island. Hmm. Ugly bugger, isn't he? All I could see was a profile of him. I mean, that's all I got to go with right now. Well, it's best a long shot. That's all we got right now, Robert, is a long shot. Any news from the front? I wouldn't worry about Anna. She's probably fine. Well, I sure hope so, because if I can't deliver her in 48 hours, my badge is on the block. Okay, here you go. As far as you requested, all the updates on the recent burglaries and gang activities. Just leave them there, will you? Yeah. My pleasure. Have fun. Hey, Frisco. Yeah. No uh, word on that warrant for Spoon Island. You're kidding me. Hey, come on. Talk to the legal department. No loopholes big enough. I got to get Ned Ashen to file a complaint against those tenants, then. That would do it. Oh, God. Yeah. What happened with Lars Hansen? Lars? Oh, nothing, nothing. He's uh, just a Chevy Chase businessman, clean as a whistle. Nothing? No, he got a couple of parking tickets. Went to court one time to answer a neighbor's complaint about a noisy dog. Thank you. You got it. What was that all about? 
Nothing important. Well, what have we got here? Let's go over it. I would love to know what we've got here. So far, we have a missing photograph of a woman named Desiree holding a sculpted dog. You're a forger. Whatever. Which leads us right to Sean. Just what the hell's going on with you and him anyway? You haven't told me anything. Well, ever since this whole debacle began, he and Anna have been less than candid with me. Well, maybe they don't know any more than we do. What about the cigar? I mean, every time we turn a corner, there it is. You're telling me that Anna's already questioned you about it. You're right. And then there's this spook on the island that you maintain you've seen puffing away on one of these things, which just happens to be the same as something you saw in Paris. Well, that's how I'm connecting Felicia's kidnapping with the cigar. Even yeah, Sean doesn't agree. Sean was right there, Robert. He saw it with his own eyes when I did. You buy that? No. Nah. So he's lying. The question is why? The theory. Theory. Maybe this spook is out of Sean and Anna's past. Who would it be? Enemy, maybe. Well, if that's the case, you'd know who it was. You work with them. Not necessarily. Anna and I were running together for a few months, and then we both left the bureau. Now, prior to that, she was solo, reporting directly to Sean. Well, that still doesn't explain why he wouldn't be up front with you. I mean, if he knew Felicia wasn't safe, he'd definitely... Come on, baby. Something interesting? Doesn't match. Hmm. Now, what we have here is a man who possibly has an identity and managed to conceal it. It makes for a formidable opponent. A nine-letter word for impotent. Any suggestions, fellas? Sorry. You guys. Well, I thought you saw something. Yeah, there's a beautiful day out there. Why don't you go horseback riding? That sounds good to me. Let's go. No, not me. Just the two of you, Shadow Brothers. Uh, Lopez will be happy to take you out way out there. I'm going to stay here and help my grandmother with the housework. Well, if you're not going to go, we don't want to go, do we? No. I'll, I'll help you. But me too. You guys sure don't act like you're on vacation. Oh, well, compared to our regular jobs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're not letting her out of their sight. It, it's almost like house arrest. She doesn't like it. Oh, uh, that's just tough. This is the way it's got to be, Mariah. Oh, will you be here soon? As soon as I get my business taken care of here, I'll be down there. These guys are driving me nuts. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah, I heard. Listen, keep the pressure on there, okay? I'll be in touch. Thanks. What do you got? We tracked Ned Ashton to the Port Charles Hotel. Great. Tell Robert I'll be in touch, all right? Thanks. I was surprised you hadn't left Port Charles yet. More champagne? Please. Jacques? You don't say much there. Listening can be far more enlightening. Mm. Alas and alas, some people never learn. <laughs> What was that old expression? Oh, yes, let's see. Uh, loose lips sink ships. But that was a long time ago. Besides, there's no reason for anyone to keep secrets anymore, right? However, I can't understand why uh, Cesar left you leave the island before him. Must have had a very good reason to part with such a lovely creature. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Uh, what is this? 
Nachos. Are those things on top hot peppers? They're jalapenos. <laughs> Gesundheit. <laughs> uh, do you think maybe we could have a couple of burgers and some fries? Certainly. They, um, they don't like the food. <laughs> they don't know what they're missing. I love these. Well, you better be careful, because if you eat too many of those, that baby of yours will be born breathing a fire. Don't you think those guys are a little bit weird? Oh, in what way? Well, I think they're a little too duded up in those cowboy clothes. They come to Texas on a vacation. They won't even go outside. They don't like Tex-Mex food. They don't even want to go to the rodeo. What are they doing here? Uh, the water. Right, fire water. Maybe, but they didn't even drink any water. Oh, maybe they were misinformed. They bug me, Grandma. Oh, Felicia, don't get upset. It's not a good idea in your condition. Hey, little lady, uh, how you coming with those burgers? Oh, hold your jalapenos. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you don't like the men down here as much as the man you left behind. It's not that. And if you're talking about Frisco, and I know you are, I don't miss him one single bit. Oh, Sean. Oh, oh Frisco. <laughs> this is hey, surprise. Bill. What are you doing here? I was actually looking for you. Robert I'd like to talk to you. Good. I'd like to talk to him, too. Yeah, good. Are you going to introduce me to your friends, or...? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, of course. This is Desiree. <laughs> how do you do? Jacques. They're uh, business associates. Hi, how are you? Didn't catch your last name. Mr. Jones, I've heard so much about you. Well, a little flattery never hurt anyone. I'm at a little disadvantage here. All I know about you is that you're beautiful. May I have my check, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. I got to see some friends. Nice meeting you. Okay, Mr. Bye. Jones. Thank you. Oh, you mustn't do that. No, 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 no. I insist. We'll do it again soon, won't we? Hmm. Perhaps. Let's see here. <clears throat> Check this over. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's about it. Very good. good. Um, Jacques, would you give this to the waiter for me, please? Always a pleasure. Merci. See you soon. Oh, Jacques. Keep smiling. <clears throat> What's keeping that? He said he'd be right back. It's no problem with me. I can wait. You said something about this being a police matter. I didn't know you were still on the force. Oh, uh, you know, Robert's been so preoccupied with this, this alien stuff. I guess you've heard about that. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving him a hand, that's all. Oh, what does this have to do with me and Ned? Um, actually, it has to do with Windermere. Well, Ned might not get back, so maybe I can help. I mean, I am co-owner. Oh, I, I'd forgotten that. That's right. Maybe you can help me out then. I need to uh, ask a bit of a favor, kind of. Um... <clears throat> The tenants that you have out at Windermere, what I need is for you to file a complaint on them. I need to get a search warrant for the island. Heavens. What do you think is going on out there? You know, Ned and I are going to live there when we get married. Oh, no, I don't mean to alarm you, really. It's just that they're putting in the security system out there, and they're bringing in a lot of elaborate, heavy excavation equipment, and I just want to check it out. That's all? Really? Absolutely. But I need your help on this. But don't, don't be alarmed. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. So can you help me out? Um, I don't know. Maybe we should wait for Ned. Fine with me. Monica, I want you to just stay put till they restore power, okay? Okay. Do you think Ned's all right? I'm sure he's at EOQ, Don, and that's where he's going to stay till this is over. I need to use the phone to call my paper. Thank you. Hey, the phone's dead! The aliens must have cut the lines. Oh. Folks, please, please, folks, can we just calm down? There's no reason to panic here. Don't this has nothing to, to do 